ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯೈ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಸಾಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಪ್ರಣಾಮಸ್ ಟು ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಗುರುಜಿ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಗುರುದೇವ ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಸೇ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಫುಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಬಿಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮಹಾವಲಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈಯರ್ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋಬ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ the topic which i would be taking in these half an hour presentation is there so we have another 25 minutes will be the vision and inception of chinmaya university vision and inception of chinmaya university now suppose i ask this question how do we want our youngsters to be educated do we want them to be proud of their culture confident of themselves as human beings or do we want to just give some kind of education we all know those who love and respect their parents they grow up into wonderful individuals they study well they achieve great things they bring reputation glory to their family we know all those things the same applies to a nation also somebody who loves who's proud of his country such a person contributes greatly to the nation and he is a positive change bringer to the nation but then when we talk of this patriotism this patriotism is a little compound kind is a complex kind of emotion because patriotism is not just love for but it is also pride in love is from the heart pride is from understanding there is part heart part head in patriotism now let me give an example i love my mother and father all of us love our mother and father love is because my mother my father but pride is slightly different if my father is a drunkard talks nonsense you know violent i will still love but pride takes a beating yes i will still love but pride will not be there now if we look at our country is there opportunity merely to love or are there sufficient reasons to be proud and in our education system is it possible to reflect this aspect of what we can respect of our country and only if we can do that we will have our youngsters not only loving their land but also proud of themselves being indians and only then we will have youngsters who contribute to the nation and never never otherwise we all know our children are our future but let's also remember one thing our youngsters are our immediate future now what is that about india which we can incorporate in our education india was considered is considered even now jagat guru 
there was no aspect of the knowledge tradition india did not contribute to mathematics decimal system we were the ones who gave zero we provided clarity infinity we gave the inputs purnamada purnamidam etc etc biology you take life science you take horticulture you take every aspect indians have contributed ayurveda still remains one of the most potent natural ways of treating as well as prevention whether it is mathematics linguistics panani nashtadhyayi in the scale of just 4000 sutras the entire language has been brought into analysis study any aspect of knowledge you take you will find indians have contributed the question is it why is it not reflected in our higher education you can be very very proud all of us as chinmaya mission members the entire nation has given chinmaya mission this great grand not opportunity trust that we will be that organization which is going to bring this amalgamation of the ancient indian knowledge traditions with contemporary knowledge fields we are the only university which is going to do this and we are doing and that is why under the deemed university we come under a special category called de novo the word de novo means all together new can you please think even imagine that such a country with such a knowledge traditions where the granny is sufficient to tell when the eclipse is going to happen because the panchangam is there in this great grand country our own children our own youngsters are not given the knowledge of their forefathers this great correction is happening at chinmaya vishwavidyalaya pit one more point is knowledge merely information something to fill the intellect with is that sufficient for life even great people crumble in front of challenge of self life is it not difficulties can make anybody lose balance arjuna in the battlefield could not stand he was wilting because of confusion when shri krishna gave the knowledge a different kind of knowledge not the knowledge he just studied with dronacharya but a different way a different thing which adds completion the upanishad state dve vidye veditavye para cha eva apara cha inputs for living are very important but if we don't have inputs for life where is the living great knowledge but a single sorrow we find the extra committing some terrible things bringing pain to all is that knowledge in chinmaya university true to the term chinmaya we bring in chinmaya that knowledge which makes knowledge complete how do we do it a very very beautiful way of majors minors electives life immersion courses such as meditation seva so bringing this whole great wonderful combination which can make knowledge holistic chinmaya vishwavidyapeet is engaged in a life transforming process for 
hundreds of children now and thousands of children who are going to come to the future in the future what we are doing at chinmaya vishwa vidya peeth is this what we did not receive from our education we plan to bequeath to our youngsters this is a very sacred thing it is man making education and pujya gurudev said art of man making and very very nice today we see so many presentations of education and all the fields one thought came to my mind from lkg to phd with chinmaya vishwavidya peet that cycle becomes complete now you may wonder what is so great about this indian knowledge indian knowledge yes it has got inputs for living inputs for life wonderful excellent but let me tell you there is something which is required for the whole world which is there in our knowledge traditions if this knowledge is lost it is not a loss only for india it is a loss for the whole world i wonder swami ji is too much but let me give, just give you an anecdote and then i think it will become very clear in the ashram of mahatma gandhi ji in sabarmati they used to be every day morning before prayer time chanting from the bhagavad gita readings from the quran some kind of portions from the bible and the guru granth sahib everything was read and then the prayers would go and these uh, newspaper fellows they asked gandhi ji in your ashram you chant the bhagavad gita the quran the bible and the guru granth sahib please tell me what you love the most gandhi ji he was a man of truth he kept quiet for a moment and then he answered you have a mother she has a mother he has a mother she also has got a mother i have a mother which mother will i love the most but even as i love my mother the most i know how much you love your mother how much she loves her mother how much he loves her mother in loving my mother i know how everyone feels about the mother when this whole world is breaking into fragments because of narrow domestic walls and strife is written everywhere wherever you put your finger on if there's one tradition which can give to the whole world the message of unity of oneness of togetherness that is your tradition my tradition if indian knowledge tradition is lost the world will be lost we carry that light we are that what lighthouse in this ocean of turbulence let's all come together to make this happen chinmaya university and this is not chinmaya university is not some swami swarupanand ji or pujya guru ji or few of us thought chinmaya university way back in 1989 1990 when pujya guru dev established chinmaya international foundation in the birth home of adi shankar acharya he made a will a commitment a wish this will become a university founded on sanskrit you know when they open the pyramids and then they had some you know some paddy grains were there they took that paddy grains and somehow it fell on the ground and it sprouted 5000 years after vitality was there the satya sankalpa of a gnani a yoga purusha like our pujya gurudev makes things happen even when we do not know 
it will happen it will happen and one thing interesting i should tell you in 2009 one of the devotees of of one of the devote relatives of one of the devotees had come to cif and there i was talking about the university and all those things and the person got inspired and said can i give fortune my can i give for a university sanskrit university and then he took 10 lakhs out and can i give i said please wait i can't accept it i sent a email because how do we know gurudev said at that time how do we know i sent a email to guruji next day morning guruji's email came if puja gurudev said it it will happen accept it <laughs> history is in the making history is in the making our generation has got this opportunity to make a very 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 wonderful university for posterity not just for our children not just for our children's children and not just for children of this country not just children of a few generation forever because it is satya sankalpa nothing more i have to say let's start all details what are the courses etc etc which you can always have but we are blessed because we have this opportunity to serve are you all with me do you feel the same thing yes. when shri rama is there to guide when hanuman ji is there to lead what is required further a banara sena we are thank you